Yeah. Um, now, we're here to talk about something I, I, which I find, I mean, utterly, utterly baffling and deeply, deeply depressing. Now, this it involves a, a woman called Kathleen Stock. She's a philosophy professor at the University of Sussex, and she's been accused of transphobia over her views, which are shared, by the way, by probably 95 percent plus of the population of this country and indeed the world that people cannot change their biological sex, that a trans woman isn't a woman, a trans woman is a trans woman. Um, she has had to flee the university last month after masked activists called for her sacking while letting off flares. There have been posters up uh, bullying her, attacking her, threats made to her life. She's been told she can't be on campus without having bodyguards to protect her. And yet uh, her own union, her, the left-wing university and college union, um, which is supposed to support lecturers, um, has declared its support unequivocally for the activists who have threatened her. What on earth is going on, on our, in our university campuses in this country? It is an extraordinary story, Julia. Um, and what's ironic about it is that the opponents of the government's higher education bill, which seeks to um, introduce more robust protections for academic free speech in universities. The opponents have long claimed uh, that there is no free speech crisis in Britain's universities. Cancel culture isn't real. It's a figment of the imagination of right wing culture warriors. Um, uh, everything's rosy in the garden. Um, so when something like this happens, um, it, it, I think, is a stark illustration yeah of just how deep the problem is. Uh, and as you say, it is utterly extraordinary uh, that the largest academic trade union in this country, UCU, uh, instead of siding with a university employee whom student activists have demanded the university sack, have sided with the activists. Uh, Kathleen Stock yesterday, when the UCU released this statement, um, quote tweeted it, and said at the top of the, of, of the quote, my career has effectively been ended by this trade union. Um, you know, there was a time when trade unions used to stand up for employees against their bosses. But no, um, they've effectively said, yes, student activists, you're right. This worker should be fired because um, she doesn't conform to gender ideology. It is shocking. And um, I hope any academics witnessing this will realise that the UCU is not going to stand up for their speech rights if a student mob comes for them. No. And the best thing they could possibly do is to join the Free Speech Union instead. Well, here, here and I'm, I'm going to declare, you know, I'm a member of the Free Speech Union and associate member. I, I feel very strongly that this is an absolute vital union to join uh, to protect our rights. But this is what's extraordinary. She's been accused of transphobia. And we have that that line thrown. I've been accused of transphobia. I've had, I have no negative feelings, never expressed a negative view of, of trans... Uh, a transsexual person in my life. Um, I, I've, I've got no hatred in my heart. Sure, she doesn't as well. She was simply speaking out about biological facts, that, that you're born a woman or born a man and you can't change sex. This is kind of the accepted norm. This is actually also, by the way, you know, the legal, it's, it's not just the dictionary de definition of what a man or woman is, it's also, you know, the legal status in this country under the current law as well. So what she said is not in, in any way controversial. And it is completely possible to say, and as I do, and as she has done, that, and as many, many women standing up for women's and girls' rights and safety, and indeed our very existence as something other than a figment of a man's imagination on a Wednesday afternoon, um, is that, you know, saying that, you know, a trans woman isn't a woman isn't transphobia it's not hatred it's not denying someone their existence or their life it is simply saying live your best life wear what you want call yourself what you want but no I don't accept that you are in every sense a woman in the same way that I am and yet this is now transphobia this is accepted it would appear by accepted by an academic uh, an academics union as as somehow a a statement a, a you know as as a hate crime to all intents and purposes how did that happen? It is odd, Julia, that um, uh, gender ideology has um, spread across Britain's university campuses, um, uh, uh, almost like a cult. Um, and uh, now on campus, it is almost heresy uh, to challenge any aspect of this dogma. If you say that you don't think trans women are women, even if, like Kathleen Stock, you are a staunch defender of trans rights. Yep. 
um, uh, you are branded a transphobe, accused of hate speech, um, and activists will come for you in the way that they've come for Kathleen Stock. Um, this happened to two feminist uh, law professors at the University of Essex uh, because they, in the past, had said that they don't think that trans women prisoners should be admitted to women's prisons, women's refuges. Trans women shouldn't be able to compete against uh, biological women in single. No, sex I'm not sport. having trans women. Biological, no, women. Is it? We're not. We're, <laughs> we're not. A, we're not a variant. We're just women. That's what we are. Uh, these two um, feminist law professors but, were no platformed by the University of Essex because they they effectively had committed heresy yeah, in the yeah. eyes of these but trans the, but activists. This is none of this is not accepted by you know the average person in the street as no. I mean, we all know you know uh, what a man is and what a woman is. When when someone has a baby, you you say, oh, what, what, what did you have, boy or a girl? I mean, we ask those questions. They have meaning to us. They have meaning to everyone in the world. We're now being asked to accept this sort of Orwellian double think and believe what your eyes tell us is not true, that someone with a penis is a woman or someone, uh, you know, with breasts is a man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not able to, you know, exercise those cartwheels in my brain to make my, myself believe that stuff. And neither is this woman. Where do we go from here? Because she's not the first, as you point out. She's not the last. Even if the union backed her, we're still in a situation where a, a female professor can't walk safely around her campus because she's expressed a statement of biological fact um, because uh, because she, because of the physical threats to her life. This is so unacceptable in in a modern liberal democracy that this should happen. And, and of all places on a university campus, how do we stop this from happening? I mean, my view is anyone who masked up and made threats to this woman, you are frankly, not only you're out of the university, you should be facing criminal charges. Um, but 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 what can we actually do to stop this cold and flat and end it right now and get our lives and our discussions and our university campuses and our free speech back to normal? Well, I don't think there's a silver bullet, unfortunately. Um, I think it's going to be um, a fairly long haul to get back to um, uh, an atmosphere on our campuses in which people can disagree in a civil, good-tempered way uh, and not engage in this sort of uh, threatening, intimidating behaviour to try and silence their opponents. Um, the Free Speech Union has written to the uh, interim vice chancellor of Sussex University asking that they do more to protect Kathleen Stock, that they issue a statement um, uh, saying that uh, her career isn't in any jeopardy at all and that they investigate and punish the students who have threatened her in this way. Some of them appear to be threatening violence against her, which is obviously completely beyond the pale, totally unacceptable. And uh, you, you don't have a right, you know, your speech rights don't extend to be able to threaten people you disagree with, with violence, if they don't shut up or if they're not fired. Um, we've written also to the, to the um, Equality and Human Rights Commission, asking them to intervene uh, and do what they can to protect the rights of Kathleen Stock and other dissenting academics on campuses. Um, there's the higher education bill, which is currently wending its way through Parliament. I think it could be a bit stronger. The Free Speech Union is working with MPs and peers to try and amend it, to strengthen it a little bit. Uh, but I think that will nevertheless uh, help. It'll it'll give uh, there it'll create various mechanisms for uh, people like Kathleen to use to try and make sure their speech rights aren't breached in this way. But ultimately, we have to change the culture. Yeah. We have to persuade these activist students that this kind of behaviour, trying to silence your opponents through threats and intimidation, is unacceptable. By all means, disagree. Yeah. By all means, set out your stall. But do it in a public forum. Have a civilised debate about it. We need to talk about this issue. You know, it is to a certain extent unresolved. It's a it's a genuine disagreement. There are in some areas some conflicts between women's rights and trans rights. Yeah. I think women's rights activists like Kathleen Stock acknowledge that and want to have an open discussion, an open debate about this. But the trans rights activists say, no, if yeah. you say there's a conflict between trans rights and women's rights, you're denying the right of trans people to exist. You are harming them by taking that position and you should be silenced for that reason. That's well, a very unreasonable well. position to take. What we need is 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 a more good humoured, reasonable, good tempered discussion to take place. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you two people who will never be silenced on this issue in terms of the rights of free speech and speaking out. And that's Toby Young, uh, General Secretary of the Free Speech Union and yours truly, me.